if you're watching this, you are here because you're looking to find a way to make your computer run a little faster, or um, you're a Chrome tab junkie like me, like you just have too many Chrome tabs, I wanted to show you something cool that has just come out on Chrome. I've just seen it over the past couple of weeks, and I wanted to show you what I'm finding. So I got this little guy that popped up here um, just a few minutes ago. Um, and you can see it's showing me what an inactive tab looks like. And you can see in this situation, I've got three inactive tabs and then I've got my Gmail and it's obviously not active. What I want to show you is this, the task manager that actually pops up and shows you like everything that's going on in your computer and like how much CPU and everything is going on. Um, you, if we were to go find, like, let's, let's see if we can maybe find that chat GBT window. I wonder if I can, no, it does not love letting me show you where each one is. What, what I can tell you is that this CPU bar right here, um, it's not going to have nearly as much energy be coming out of e any of these inactive tabs because they're supposed to be inactive. Um, Chrome figured out that their uh, tool is a memory hog. And so they went in and actually uh, created this feature that allows you to basically allow tabs to be deactivated. I have been using an extension. It's actually not on this one, so I'm going to show you what this extension looks like. It's called the Marvelous uh, Suspender. And recently, the Marvelous Suspender has been getting this notification, which I think is totally stupid. In fact, I think this is this is just Chrome wanting to lock down uh, some of the permissions. Um, and that is a pain in the butt, right? Like it, it really can um, create some, some problems um, where uh, th this is gonna obviously break at some point. Um, I wonder if Chrome, like, saw, I mean, 100,000 users is not a million users. Um, there are other uh, like suspender tools. This is my favorite one. Um, I've been um, using it for years and years and years. So I thought it was interesting that there's this new feature because this is something I used to have in a Chrome extension. So you can see um, this uh, tab now activated and this tab now activated, right? And so if we go back and look at our task manager, um, you can see that it well, you can't see, which is annoying, um, but it will have started to use more um, juice to, to keep track of these pages, to keep them active. And so this inactive symbol is what's going to warn you, hey, this was inactive. And that's actually freaking cool because you can see I can go inactive and I freed up 104 megabytes. Okay. So that's kind of cool that they like showed you uh, what was inactive. Oh, and this one's even highlighting the one that is now active. So let's see, there's 104 megabytes. And if I scroll in here, let's go memory footprint. Okay, that tab's open now. So if I click on, let's open the settings window here just so that we've got it. If I open that guy up, what happens? Oh, not inspect the page, sorry. And task manager, let's just see if it can find this chat GPT guy. It's not gonna have a ton of, oh, there it is. So 176 megabytes is now in use that was not in use before. So that adds up pretty quick over 20, 30, 40, 100 tabs. Um, you can kind of see what that goes. And the other way I could do it is just killing it. I just ended the process, right? And I can I can kill a web page that's taking up too much juice. But um, that's kind of the cool thing that's there. Let's explore some of the settings here. So uh, inactive tabs, a dotted circle appears. Um, okay, cool. So then it's got a tab hover card. So choose to show memory and usage. So, oh, wow, I've got a lot of options here. Um, oh, interesting. Those options are not... Oh, there we go. So I can literally just change the hover and the tab memory usage as an option. That's kind of silly. All right. So you can see like nice that I can edit those things, but I, I was kind of surprised when there was a whole new page and I thought this was all dedicated to just the, the tabs kind of wish that it would hover and highlight that or something. Um, so there's the inactive tabs. looks like they've got an article about it um, so that you can um, manage your performance issue. Um, if you want to, it looks like you can turn this guy off. Um, re recommends deactivation. Interesting. So, um, it's turned on by default, so it's going to actually take care of that for you. So anyway, kind of a cool feature. Um, there are lots of things that I love about Marvelous Suspender, um, more than just the suspending option. Um, so hopefully it doesn't go away too soon, but eventually it probably will because Chrome is locking down on security stuff, which in my opinion, it's not so much security as it is a problem on their end to not identify the nefarious apps, which I get it. That's a difficult thing to do. So anyway, that's my uh, video on the new feature that Chrome has put out.